Hello, this video will be about getting to know and operate your vintage 1920s regenerative receiver. If you enjoy the video, please subscribe and give a thumbs up. Thank you. This demonstration will be using the Greeby CR8 1921 receiver with a homebrew two-stage audio amplifier. You can bypass the audio amplifier by just hooking headphones to the output jack on the top right of the receiver. Turn the increased current rheostat up till you see the tube glowing in the panel window hole. Increase range is your band select switch. The antenna coupler is a varial coupler used to tune the antenna and ground to the receiver. It is a variable coil with taps on the coil to tune to the antenna. The grid variometer is a variable inductor used to tune the station, the station selector. The regeneration is a variometer, sometimes referred to as a tickler coil, used to feed the signal through the vacuum tube over and over again, amplifying it and increasing the strength. On some receivers, a regeneration might be marked as amplification. Turn the regeneration up until you hear whistling or squealing. If you hear a click, you've gone a little too far, slightly back it off. If you don't hear the whistling or squealing, you may have to turn the rheostat for the filament gain up a little bit brighter. Course tuning. Wheeling back off the regeneration. Fine tuning. Secretary of State Anthony Gordon from President of the House of Congress. 
Turning on in our Mitchell company, S-E-A-R-D-E, type 82 regenerative receiver from 1923. The three knobs control three rheostats that control on, off, and volume. All the way counterclockwise is off. Looking through the panel window for the tube to glow, turn slowly clockwise until you hear sound. Station selector, tuning condenser. IND stands for inductor for your tickler coil and regeneration control. The switch between the two big dials is your band selector switch.
orchestra of all Frank Sinatra's people, the usual people who had worked with him for years and years and years, said and they, they regarded it as coming home. On the record, you can feel his presence absolutely free. The left rheostat controls the filament for the detector tube. If your regeneration is too critical and constantly squealing, you might have to back down the rheostat for the detector. The middle and right rheostat controls the filaments for the audio amplifier tubes. Tuning inductor with tickler coil for feedback and regeneration. Tuning condenser, station selector. Rheostat, volume controls, O1A tubes, and audio transformers. Thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe and give a thumbs up and like the video.